Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today in the shop, super quick diag on this 2007 Subaru Outback, 130,000 miles. It's a stick shift, which is pretty cool. Customer complaint, check engine lights on. Can't use the cruise control, it's a Subaru thing. So, uh, scan it for codes. We have the classic P0420, catalyst efficiency below threshold. Also he said, Sounds like he has an exhaust leak. Sure does. And the exhaust leak is in front of the catalytic converter. Let's take a peek here at the layout. Someone already made it nice and easy, tore off all the heat shields. I think this is still the OEM header. So, let's bank two. Bank one's over here. It only has one small catalyst. There's an exhaust leak right here. You can hear it. When you give it gas, it's really loud. It even backfires if you let off. Somewhere in this junction where all the pipes come together, you can see the little black right there. Exhaust leak. So, we're getting exhaust into the manifold before it gets to the oxygen sensor. Our mixture is going to be messed up. We're going to have pulses of air coming in there and the whole fuel control is just out of whack. So what's the fix for this thing? Yeah, you need the whole manifold and the cat assembly. No way around it. OEM, probably not gonna be cheap. I'm not gonna try to weld in there. I mean, it's impossible. You might, no, I mean, it, the leak might be right in the middle of those pipes. How are you gonna get a welder in there? So that's the diagnosis. But to make it more interesting, let's look at some scan data. It's been running for a little while. Air fuel sensor, that's sensor one, stoichiometric. Rear oxygen sensor right now is at 0 0.3. Let's raise the RPMs a little bit. See what happens. It gets rich and then lean. Look at that. Downstream is very it's very quick to respond. There's no oxygen storage capacity in this cat. So the cat might be bad and we have a massive exhaust leak in the header. So two strikes against that piece. We need a new one. Cuz even if you could weld the exhaust leak, it doesn't mean the cat's still, you know, the cat's good. But at least we know that our sensors are both very responsive. It's not a sensor problem. At least we can tell the owner that. Massive exhaust leak. So that's it. Oh man, it smells in the garage really bad. <laughs> Raw exhaust. And I'll just show you the codes, I guess. It's not nothing to get excited about. Just the 420. And there it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah, our cruise control lights blinky. Can't use the cruise when the check engine lights on. So Subaru really wants your engine and emission systems to be up to par. Otherwise, they're gonna say, "Ah, uh -uh. can't use cruise control. Gotta fix me." But yeah, super quick dag. Thought I don't know if anyone's run into this problem. Subaru's having a bad exhaust manifold. I haven't really seen that many leaks there, but the I think the actual converter, catalytic converter, does go bad pretty early on. We only have a hundred and not even hundred thirty thousand miles in this thing. So thanks all for watching and stay tuned for more. Bye bye. A little bonus footage. I'm looking up some OEM Subaru parts. We've got to replace this catalytic converter. Let's see what the prices are. I expect this will not be cheap. <laughs> so there's a the schematic for our 2007 Outback. We need this whole piece plus a couple gaskets and apparently all these heat shields are sold separately. 
it, there's like five pieces, I think. There's, uh, let's see here. No, oh, what's 15? 17, there's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Crazy, right? So the big piece, it's called a crossover pipe, pretty <laughs> uh, innocent name. It's a California edition, 1350 bucks. Ouch. You know, gaskets are cheap, like 10 bucks a piece. And then we get to all these heat shields. Starting with number 15. Oh man, 100 bucks there. 80 there, about 50 there, 40 there, 20, 20. So this guy's looking at probably over two grand in parts and labor. That kind of blows my mind. That's almost as bad as a Nissan CVT replacement. Well, minus the labor. <laughs> but car's not that old. It's only got 130,000 miles. I, I don't know. Kind of steep. But it is what it is. And we'll give him the estimate. And I don't know. I, if I was the owner, I'd probably cheap out and go to Rock Auto or something. But when parts are required, I only install OEM parts, especially if it has to do with engine management, electronic parts, and this catalytic converter. That 420 code, you install a crappy aftermarket converter. The code's going to come back and then it's money down the drain. You might as well, you know, if he's going to keep the car another 10 years, bite the bullet and invest. So, it's a quick diagnosis, but, yeah, kind of disappointing that he has to spend so much money for a proper repair. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. A little more bonus footage. I figured... Why not look online for an aftermarket exhaust manifold converter assembly? Rock Auto to the rescue. Bozel. So there's the layout of the exhaust system. We need this piece right here. And on the picture, it looks beautiful. It comes with the heat shields and the gaskets. The whole thing for under 500 bucks. And they say, hey, we uh, use more precious metals. It looks amazing. And it, the main thing is it comes with a two-year warranty. Catalyst substrate from manufacturer's defects, 25,000 miles. I don't know what VFM parts are. Okay, non-VFM, so non-value line parts. Non-catalytic converter, non-lifetime. <laughs> uh, uh, catalyst substrate. Well, in any case, if this thing works out of the box for 500 bucks, that's what I would do on my personal vehicle, honestly. So, if the customer decides to go for it, we'll bring you along on the repair and installation. But, uh... As always, it's up to the customer. I think he just bought this car, so he might go to the you know place, the dealership where he bought it from, and say, "Hey, it has this really expensive repair. Can you guys do it for me for free, or something like that?" If he has some extended warranty, who knows? But I'll keep you guys in the loop, and see you next time. Bye bye.